The Apple Story. This is a story of the little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside. Once there was a little boy who was tired of all his toys and tired of all his play. What shall I do? He asked his mother. And his mother, who always knew beautiful things for the little boy to do, said, You shall go on a journey and find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside. This really made the little boy wonder. Usually his mother had good ideas, but he thought that this one was very strange. Which way shall I go? He asked his mother. I don't know where to find a little red house with no doors and no windows. Go down the lane past the farmer's house, said his mother, and then hurry back as soon as you can and tell me all about your journey. So the little boy started out. He had not gone very far down the lane when he came to a merry little girl dancing in the sunshine. Do you know where I should find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? asked the little boy. The little girl laughed. <laughs> Ask my father, the farmer, she said. Perhaps he knows. So the little boy went on until he came to the farmer. Do you know where I shall find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? Asked the little boy of the farmer. The farmer laughed. <laughs> I have lived a great many years and I never seen one, he chuckled. But ask Granny who lives at the foot of the hill. Perhaps she can direct you. So the little boy went on farther still until he came to Granny in her pretty garden. She was wrinkled as a walnut and as smiling as the sunshine. Please, dear Granny, said the little boy, where shall I find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? I should like to find that little house myself, Granny chuckled. I would be warm when the frosty night comes, but Ask the wind who blows about so much. Perhaps the wind can direct you. So the little boy went up the road rather sorrowfully. He wondered if his mother, who usually knew almost everything, had perhaps made a mistake. The wind was coming down the road. As they met, the wind turned about and went along, singing beside the little boy. It whistled in his ear and pushed him and dropped a pretty leaf into his hand. I wonder, thought the little boy, after they had gone along together for a while, if the wind could help me find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside. The wind went along singing ahead of the little boy until it came to an orchard. There it climbed up in the apple tree and shook the branches. When the little boy looked down, there at his feet lay a great rosy apple. The little boy picked up the apple. It was as much as his two hands could hold. It was as red as the sun had been able to paint it, and the thick brown stem stood up as straight as a chimney, and it had no doors and no windows. Was there a star inside? The little boy called to the wind, thank you, and the wind whistled back, you're welcome. Then the little boy gave the apple to his mother. His mother took a knife and cut the apple through the center. Oh, how wonderful. There inside the apple lay a star holding brown seeds. It's too wonderful to eat without looking at the star, isn't it? The little boy said to his mother. Yes, indeed, answered his mother. The 